So I just wanted to make this video to have a little conversation while I finally get to eat my, what, three hour old McDonald's. <laughs> Let me tell you why I'm eating my McDonald's three fucking hours after getting it. I wish this is still the fruit punch that I got. It's strawberry lemonade. So, <laughs> I guess this is going to be a little mood bong story time. I also don't have nails on anymore because Andrew went to the hospital yesterday morning. And I was just so stressed out that I was just picking out my fingers and I picked them all off. So there's that. So let's just get in to my story. Okay, so the story starts out with me pretty much going and starting the chore that I have to do today a little early because I wanted to get done because I, okay, the chore is scooping dog shit. Where I live right now currently has at least six dogs. See if this, I know this didn't microwave up good, but <laughs> I'm kind of sad. These were so good when they gave it to me fresh. Not even gonna lie. It was so good. So anyways, sometimes there's upward to I think like nine dogs in here when um, these three come over and they get babysat. So at least six dogs at all time. And that means there's a lot of shit. So I had it poop scooped in about two days because it was Andrew's days off. So we just pretty much hung out and stuff. <clears throat> so I had to go scoop the shit today. And I'm just gonna say this, I don't like the way that we have to dispose of the shit. I am not comfortable with. So I like to scoop the shit well, Andrew's in here, and then I'll tell him, like, you go flush it, because I don't know why, I just can't. I'm, like, so afraid of the toilet flooding. So, I scoop up half, I have him flush it, you know, because <clears throat> the way his grandma sees it, it's shit, so it goes down the toilet. The way I see it is that it's dog shit that's been out in the sun for hours. It is pretty much like rocks. So you're pretty much flushing rocks down your toilet. So I'm just always uncomfortable of doing this. So. We do have, and then Andrew's like, okay, well, hey, let's go to McDonald's because I want McDonald's before I go to work. I said, okay, cool. If anybody here is barking, that's probably the six dogs out there. Well, mine's in here. So, let's go on to my story. So, we go to McDonald's. Come back, he goes to take a shower. I go to do the other part of the shit. And there was a lot. So I wasn't done by the time he had to go. So he just comes out and he's like, hey, I'm leaving. I said, bye, okay, cool. I come in to flush. This shit was not even a third of the shit that we flushed earlier. Like maybe maybe the palm of my hand, like that much shit. Shh, I'm trying to film a video. <clears throat> he knows that after I'm done with this, he's going to get a bath. So he's kind of 
tripping out a little bit. But you're getting a bath, you're sitting in here. <laughs> so almost out of this blue cheese. Sad. Oh my but anyways. Minuscule amount of shit was flushed. And when I tell you, and I even use, so the toilet has like an eco-friendly flush where it just lightly flushes, and then there's like a heavy ass flush, so if you go in there and you take like, you shit your life out, <laughs> kind of deal, then you push that one, cool. So even for that little mini school thing, I used the big flush because the, I, 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 I'm afraid of it going down. And so, I flushed the toilet, and I shit you not, this shit flows so abruptly, just flows up. That little bit of fucking water splits out, and I'm just like, oh, what do I do? So, of course, try plunging it. The plunger in there is, of course, ass. And I'm like, okay, so I look on YouTube like, yo, what do I do? And I looked up a couple of videos about how to like unclog your toilet without a plunger. And I was like, bet. So I tried it, and I tried it, and I tried it. And it just didn't work. Meanwhile, let's get really gross here. I ended up taking a cup, scooping out the water a couple times. See, if, you know. I had to scoop out water a couple times with a cup. I'm freaking out. I'm just like, oh my god, what the fuck's gonna happen? And I tried and I tried, and that way is just not fucking working. So I'm like, bet I gotta try and go into this lady's bathroom and see if she has a heavy duty one. So I go in and I get the heavy duty freaking plunger. When I tell you that thing didn't do shit, it didn't do shit. But, this is kind of a weird story time because this one doesn't really have an ending. So, I don't know what's gonna happen. I kind of just cleaned it up. The water level is low. Now, Probably just gonna wait till I get a call from like Andrew on his break. Maybe he can tell me something different to do, but I shit you not, y'all. I don't think you can see a little red spot right there. But there's a couple of those all over my hands. I have I have blisters on my hands from holding this plunger and trying to fucking plunge this damn toilet. So say that I am pissed, annoyed, and honestly just want to go yell at people and say that I was fucking right, but you know, sometimes you can't do that, and if you live with somebody that is up in their ears and they're kind of stubborn, that's just the way they are. So I'm just hoping that she doesn't, you know, go into that bathroom and try to flush anything. Cause boy oh boy, she is going to be surprised. But what can you do? What can you fucking do? That's why I look really rough in this video. And because I gave up. I was like, yo, I'm taking a shower. So, my face is naked. Oh, my hair is a little mint. Because 
my dudes, if anybody wants, if I'm just gonna answer the question that people might be wondering. And one, <clears throat> yes, I did have toilet water splash back into my face and on my clothes. It's kind of something I never want to relive again. And I bet people are also wondering. Well, you're not letting anybody know that the toilet is broken. What has happened when you have had to pee? Or shit? Well, I'll tell you guys. I haven't had to shit yet. I haven't had to shit yet. Thank God. You know? Um. As for the other thing, you know, number one, well, I wasn't, you know, going to try and put my ass on the sink, so that's why we have bathtubs, and if you're also thinking I'm weird, just be glad you've never had to be in a situation where you've had to pee in your sink and or your bathtub. I don't know. It's gonna be pretty scary if I have to take a shit. I got this. <laughs> People, if they're watching this video, probably are still like, yo, what the fuck is this shit? And well, this shit is me. I am the shit. I'm about to go get Echo a bath after this, so. That'll be pretty fun. Just gonna try and occupy the bathroom to not let people know that it's fucked up. <clears throat> Which is so stupid because it's not even my fault. So I shouldn't be afraid to be like, yo, the bathroom is fucking broken. Because I have done nothing other than what I have been told to do. Which is stupid. So freaking stupid. So, just wanted to sit down, have my lunch. I don't know how to be one of those mukbang people, so I've probably done that a whole bunch of times. Ew. I'm not gonna make a dirty joke there, but. <laughs> So, <clears throat> just wanted to sit down, eat my lunch, rant, so maybe I can feel a little better because pretty much for the last three and a half hours, I have been pissed, like so mad. But you know, now I'm eating my old ass chicken fingers, you know, trying to with my life. Like, and honestly, going into the bathroom, like, I mopped the floor in there because, like, eh. But it's still, like, it just grosses me out, so I'm like, eh. I'm cringing having to go back in there, even though I know it's clean and I cleaned it. So. How's that? Hmm. I should just become an eating cow and do like the hot Cheeto challenge or something. Hmm. That's all I really have to say. Obviously, I'm like done with my food. So. Probably gonna go make my dog, make my dog, give my dog a bath. But if anybody does watch this, you know, don't even give me a like because you like this content. Give me a like to, you know, support me in my toilet struggles right now. Because Lord. I am at like 
I thought this day was gonna be so fun. It's my last day before I have to go to work. I was gonna play Spider-Man. I know. I have to fix a fucking broken toilet. I've, I put my hand in shit water so many times. Like I, I just, I'm gonna look at my hands a little differently from now on. Thank you for watching my impromptu mukbang, or you can even call it that. And it's my rant about my toilet problems. I hope you guys have a great day and always remember to stay happy. Bye. Hopefully I don't have to take a shit in the next couple hours. <laughs>